Hey everyone, welcome back to my nursery and welcome if you are new here. Tonight we are doing a much requested video for a nighttime routine with the babies. So tonight is the twins first night home and um, I'm just going to show you how we get them ready for bed and hopefully we'll have a, a pretty easy night. Um, I expect there to be a lot of wake up calls in the middle of the night, diaper changes and feeding. So cross your fingers guys and hopefully this goes good tonight. So right now I just have little Miss Shiloh in the swing. She has already had her bath. She was quite fussy so I did her uh, first and she is just taking a little nap in the swing while we go and give uh, her brother Jace a bath. She is going to need a feeding before bed and a diaper change and right now we'll just go uh, get Jace all cleaned up and get him dressed and changed into a clean diaper and he's already had a feeding so while he's happy and um, nice and full we're gonna go ahead and get him in the tub so that he doesn't fuss. getting Jason's bath ready and adding some soap and I'm going to go grab him from the nursery and we're going to get him all cleaned up and I'm just using this nighttime Johnson Johnson baby wash to help him sleep better. It has lavender in it and that will help him sleep a little bit better tonight. Hopefully. Fingers crossed guys. So I've got little one here and he did really well during his bath. I'm just going to quickly put on a diaper so that we don't have any accidents. If you've ever had little boys, you know how that goes. Um, I have a little preemie diaper here, it says I heart you and I am just going to use our Burt's Bees dusting powder on his bottom so he doesn't get a rash and I just have some Pampers wipes here. so. I'm just gonna throw on a quick diaper on this little one. He did so good. He was so patient. First bath at home, he did really great. So I am just going to put this little diaper on him. Try to keep him warm, poor little guy. It's kind of cooler in our house at night, so I don't want him catching cold. I'm just going to put some powder on. And I'm going to quickly get him to the nursery so that we can get him uh, dressed and nice and warm. So let's get this little one all ready for bed get him all nice and warm and I have um, a little outfit here um, this is by Carter's it's a little gown for him that we're gonna put him in um, I'm gonna do a gown for both babies for bed uh, just because it's easier to do changes during the nighttime um, it's easier access and I have a little onesie here I'm gonna put him in it's by Gerber organic and it's striped and it says adorable on it. So we're gonna put him in that. And then I have a little pair of socks to keep him warm. We do like to keep it a little bit cooler in the house, so I definitely am planning on dr dressing both of these babies quite warm tonight. And we have a cute little hat here too. And I believe this is by Gerber as well. So um, I am gonna use baby wraps for them as well tonight to help them sleep and stay much warmer and also to prevent SIDS. So we're gonna get this little one dressed and ready to go. He did really well for his first bath, so I'm super happy with 
how that went. Very few tears. So we're just going to put this little onesie on him. Hopefully this fits. Oh, baby boy, it's getting stuck on your head. It's feeling a little bit tight, even though it is preemie sized. So hopefully this fits him. Not used to these tiny little babies. Twins are much, much smaller than my newborns have been. So I'm used to having much bigger babies. This little guy, so sweet. So this is Jace's first night at home and I'm hoping that he'll do really well tonight. Hopefully he'll sleep good. He already seems pretty tired. And I'm just gonna put these little striped socks on him. Keep those little tootsies nice and warm. And his sister, she's still fast asleep in the swing. Hopefully she'll sleep tonight. I don't want her sleeping too long. And I'm just gonna pick him up here and get rid of this wet towel here. There we go. And we'll just get his little gown on and then get him off to bed. And I think I'm gonna use, these have like little kind of built-in mittens and I think I'm gonna use those as well. Um, these little babies have some long nails and I don't want them getting their faces all scratched up. So I think we're gonna use that as well. It is just now starting to get dark outside and I am planning on going to bed early tonight for sure. New moms lead lots of rest. So we are just gonna lift this little guy's bottom up and get him all snug in his little nightgown. Oh, he looks so sweet. I'm gonna use these little built-in scratch mittens here because he has some very long, long fingers and nails. So I definitely don't want him getting all scratched up. That seems to be one of his favorite things to do is scratch his face. So I'm going to use this little baby wrap on him. I'm just going to pick him up and we're going to put that little baby wrap down. And hopefully we can get his sister fed pretty quickly and get them both off to sleep because mama is tired. We're just gonna get him nice and snug in here in his little wrap. I'm gonna just scooch him up a little bit. There we go. That fastens right there. And I'm just gonna get him a little pacifier and his little hat as well. So he stays nice and toasty warm after that bath. Oh, so, so sweet. And I'm just gonna get him moved to the crib real quick. So I'm just gonna set this little one in the crib and while he's falling asleep, I'm just gonna play a little bit of music for him and keep him calm while I feed his sister. And I'm just gonna get this mobile going for him. And hopefully he'll stay nice and calm for a few minutes. So 
this little one just needs to get topped off before bed so she doesn't wake up too quickly and uh, cry for a bottle. So um, I have a little bottle already pre-made for her and I'm just going to give this to her really quick um, before I get her all uh, wrapped up in her little bedtime wrap and get a little hat on her too so she stays nice and warm and we're just going to give her a quick feeding real fast before bed. And she's been really good tonight. Neither one of them have been too fussy. And so um, hopefully tonight will go really, really well. I get nervous uh, with twins, not used to having two babies at once. So um, this should be a really interesting night. <laughs> I'll let you guys know how it goes. So she doesn't seem like she's taking too much. Um, she did have a feed right before her bath, but I just wanted to make sure that she wasn't gonna have any issues. So i um, just gonna give her a quick burp and then um, we're gonna go ahead and get her in her wrap real quick. So um, this little one, she's gonna need her pacifier. So hopefully she doesn't fuss too, too much. And I'm just gonna get her all ready. So she's already in her little gown. This is actually a little Carter's gown. And I'm just gonna put her in um, a little pink hat for tonight. And I'm gonna get her in her little snuggly wrap. So um, she'll stay nice and warm. I'm just gonna take her little headband off. And we're gonna get this wrap on velcroed. This one's a little easier than her brother's. His is a little bit more complicated for some reason. Um, if you're wondering where I got these wraps, they're actually Swaddle Me wraps and you can find them on Amazon. And I believe that they are at Target and Walmart. I've seen them in those places as well. So these just keep baby safe. Um, we want to keep them on their backs to sleep and this just keeps them swaddled. Um, you are supposed to take the swaddles off once they can start moving around. They have other things that are geared towards bigger babies, but for now we're just going to wrap these little tiny guys in this for bed. You can also um, just use a receiving blanket if you know how to wrap one properly and she looks like she's all snug and ready. And I'm just gonna get her in her little hat and we're gonna get her into bed with her brother and I am gonna go have a cup of tea and get ready for bed myself shortly. So I'm just gonna put little Miss Shiloh right next to her brother she is fast asleep and I'm just going to put them all snuggled nice and tight next to each other and we are just going to get some lullaby music going and I'm going to turn on their nightlight and I'm going to go ahead and um, put the monitor on and go make myself a hot cup of tea and I will check on them before I go to sleep. Good night everyone and thanks for watching. Sweet dreams little ones.